Good morning, everyone out there. Um, I'm making a video. As promised, I told y'all I was going to get the Glock 20 this Saturday. I did go pick it up. Um, I want to apologize once again because I just woke up. I want to make this video re real quick because I have kids in the house and I have to come to the garage um, to do this video. But let's get into it real quick. Um, yeah, so this is the, the, the Glock 17. All right, it is loaded. One, point at a safe direction, pull the trigger. All right, so this is the Glock 17 that I have that I just showed a video on, and this is the Glock 20. It is the Gen 4. All right. So when I went to go pick this up at the the shop yesterday, I came in cheesing. I always wanted this. All right, it is empty. Nothing, nothing in the chamber. It is empty. So yes, I finally got it. So um, you know, holding, holding these side by side, you could definitely feel the weight difference. You definitely could feel it. Um, it's still it's still not a lot. It's still not a lot of weight. <sighs> um, first off, this is going to be on my knife stand. They both going to be on my knife stand. If I do hit anything in the in the nighttime, I'm gonna pick this one first. Um, I bought a hundred rounds. Um, I can't remember the brand name of the ammo, but I think I paid like twenty. I think it's twenty five dollars for a box of fifty. Um, they had it on sale, so that's that's a good thing. Safe direction, yeah. But looking at the slide, you could tell it's real, it's real thick. Looking at the slide compared to the seventeen, and let me see which one I like better. I don't know. Both grips, both grips seem good to me. All right, and the reason why I got my Finger on a trigger just to see um how it feels. Um, let me see if I can show it to y'all. Alright, it's still on the Glock 17, of course it wraps around the trigger more. And once again, I don't need the back straps. As I said in my previous video, I don't need a back strap. This is just fine. I could get all the way up on the gun, just like the 17. I still got the clearance. So um yeah, I don't really need a back strap, but of course here they are. Um everybody know come with three round, I mean sorry, three magazines. I'm not gonna do a review because as I said before, there's videos out there with better reviews. It's just simply me showing off my purchase. I'm gonna get a light for both guns. Um I'm still tired <laughs> and I gotta go to the range today. Um, I helped my brother get a car yesterday, so hopefully that goes goes good. And that's the reason why I didn't go to the range. I was a little upset because when I called the range, they said it was going to close at 7 o'clock. But um, when I got there at 5 o'clock, it was closing at 5 o'clock. So I was a little upset with the, the gun shop because of it, because they told me 7. Now, I did tell you I had an interesting story about the firearm. Um, the day I went to go see about it, I went to the gun shop. Um, I said, oh, okay, I asked the, the gentleman if they have any Glock 20s. Now, on the website, it advertised Glock 20, but I just didn't see it on display. So, he actually pulled it up for me, brand new. So, once again, he let me hold the gun to see if I like it, but I already knew I was going to get it regardless. So, he, took, he started the paperwork. So, basically, um... Let me just put this to the side so I can show y'all real quick. So basically, after I saw the gun, I was holding it. All right, you see how this is? He placed the gun right here on the counter, just like this. Placed it on the counter. So we went to go do the paperwork. And 
as we're doing the paperwork, he went to the back to go, you know, run my name to see if I'm good to get the gun. Um, it was him and two other workers there. So as he goes to the back, I'm at the counter with the firearm, just like this. Um, the box is there, the magazines, everything is in there, just sitting there. I'm not going to get into the entire details, but there was a point where the other the other um, worker, he went to go take care of a customer, and he was like in a corner. He couldn't see me because I couldn't see him because all the shotguns and everything was in the way. Then we had another employee just you know walking back and forth, talking, whatever, talking to other customers. So 20 minutes later, the gun is still on the counter just like this. The guy's in the back office running my name. So I asked about the ammo, how much the ammo costs, because you know a lot of people on YouTube, this is an expensive, expensive round. So he was telling me, oh, it's, it's you know, a box of 50 for $30. I said, okay, I want it. So he takes the ammo. Let's just say this is the box of ammo, because I have it in the house. He takes it, put the ammo right there, like right there next to the, the, the gun. And I was in a store for an entire hour. There was times I was there alone where the third employee went in the back, a different room. And I'm like, okay, I could have been a, a criminal, you know. I could have been setting up for a mass murder. I could have just took, you know, a couple of bullets. There was only three employees. And I think it was um, two customers. I could just, okay, let me just, let me just, you know, put some ammo into the magazine, load it up, do it quietly, and go into mass killing. I, I could have did that. Even though I wasn't going to do it, I just felt like it wasn't safe to just leave the firearm with the ammo there for a long period of time. Now, I understand if someone was standing right there this entire time, I wouldn't have an issue with it. But being that there was minutes apart where I could just simply took the ammo, speed loader, you know, quietly just putting, you know, the rounds in there. I had, I had plenty of time. I could just, I had a hoodie on, so I could just put it, you know, in my hoodie. Left the speed loader in my pocket. Quickly load the gun. And did something horrible. Even if they didn't leave the ammo there. I could have had ammo there in the first place plotting. So, I really, really didn't like how that happened. Um, can't have too much trust in people these days. Um, there's, there's certain things you could trust people with. But a firearm, that's one thing you should not just leave around. Me personally, you shouldn't leave it around. Because what happened if I was a regular customer just browsing and somebody else came in and that was somebody else doing it and he was ready to rob the store. Let's say if he had a magazine already, knowing that maybe it was a chance that they were going to leave the gun there. And, you know, I'm sorry, let me just get my... Thing. Let's say he had his magazine already, and he just quickly did this, loaded up real quick, bam, 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 bam. Then we all would be dead, you know. Um. So I really, really didn't understand why it is okay. So, as I said, I just personally, I was upset about it. I really didn't understand why that went. Went down the way it did. Let me just put this round back into this magazine real quick. Yeah, so I, didn't, I really didn't like that. So, today, I'm definitely going to the range. And I'm going to shoot all 350 rounds that I have. 
I have 100 rounds in the 10 millimeter. And I got um, 250 in the, the 9 millimeter. So yeah, now that's it. I wanted to do, do the Glock 20 come with a 33 round magazine? Let me know if it does, because I would really want one. Side by side. So I can't wait to, to shoot it. Even though I heard, you know, it got a lot of recoil. I never shot a gun before. But, um, well, today's going to be the day. I'm going to shoot all my rounds with my Glock 17. Then shoot my rounds with the Glock 20. Go home, clean them up. And just leave it there. But anyway, that's, that's enough for the video. 10 minutes is a long time. I explain my story, my excitement. I'm still wondering, like, I think the rough texture frame feels much better than the, the texture of the Gen 4. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a movie right now. Actually, no, I look like a gangbanger, to be honest, just like this. But um, I'm not a gangbanger. All right, this is definitely for self-defense, not to rob people or anything. But yeah, I'm excited my purchase. As I said, no nice sights. I'm definitely going to leave everything stock. Maybe one, one day in the future, I might turn one of these guns into that Nintendo Glock. I'm sorry, I love that Glock. The Nintendo gun Glock. But anyway... Thank you everyone for the video. Um, once again, just leave a comment if you if you like. Um, to the next video, I guess. Everybody enjoy your day.